I also noticed you changed a term in your budget work. Uh, you shifted from in places from using the term mother to birthing people rather than mother. Can you help me get a good definition of birthing people? Well, I, I'll, I'll check on the language there, but I think if we're talking about those who give birth, I think we're talking about, uh, I, I don't know how else to explain it to you other than I, it. Ex I, I was a little taken back when I just read it and saw it, that it's that the term mother was gone in spots and it was replaced with birthing people. And I didn't know if this was a direction that you were going, if there were shifts, if there are regulatory changes that are happening related to that or what the purpose of that is. I think it's probably, and again, I, I'd have to go back and take a look at the language that was used in the budget, but I think it, it simply reflects the work that's being done. Oh, I, oh, I definitely get that. I, I, would, I would only say well, the language is important always. We don't want to offend in our language. I get that. But would you at least admit calling a mom a birthing person could be offensive to some moms, uh, that they don't want to get like a happy birthing person card in May or, I mean, can you at least admit that that term itself could be offensive to some moms? Senator, I'll, I'll go back and take a look at the, the, the terminology that was used and, and I can get back to you. But again, if, we, if we're trying to be precise in, in the language that's used. Mom's a pretty good word. That's, that's worked for a while and I think that's pretty precise as well. Go to another issue. The budget requests $26 million to reduce maternal mortality and eliminate race-based disparities in outcomes among, quote, birthing people. Uh, this is a shift from recent budgets, which referred to maternal health issues as women's issues. Um, I've never heard the term before. Can you explain what it means? Uh, absolutely. Uh, there, there are certain uh, people who do not uh, have uh, gender identities that apply to female or male. Uh, so we think our language needs to be more inclusive in how we deal with complex issues. Uh, I think the underlying issue is most important that your colleagues, Lauren Underwood and others, are working on is to try to ensure that uh, those of color who are uh, giving birth leave the hospital alive. And that, that's the issue rather than the, the verbiage. Uh, the verbiage matters, but the underlying issue is extremely important, and a lot of your colleagues are working hard on this uh, because all of those giving birth uh, should have access to the same quality health care. So is the administration's official policy to relate replace the term woman with birthing people? I think our official policy is to make sure when people uh, get service from their government that they feel included, and we're trying to use inclusive language. Okay. Interesting.